Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Yottinger Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to Botscopy, a Botscopy report live from the Boat Düsseldorf 2023. I'm in all 16 on the Albert Grassu uh, uh, booth in front of me the brand new Albert Grassi 400 and for presenting us and for a private walkthrough of a brand new model let's meet Manuel Strassi, uh, president of uh, Albert Grassi Varvet. Yeah, correct. Hello, hello, uh, hello uh, uh, Manuel. Hello, Nagelas. So it's nice to meet you again yes. in Dusseldorf. The very same to you. It's three years ago now. Yeah, three years since the last uh, boat yeah. Düsseldorf. Yeah. And for Albert Grassu, uh, Boat Düsseldorf is the main boat show in the world. It is. It's the, the boat show where we reach a lot of people yeah. and many people from far away. We get visitors from all over the world, from South America, from Asia, from Australia, from yeah. every corner of the world. And they come in Düsseldorf yeah. to discover each year uh, the main models of the ranch. Yes. Uh, a few words about your uh, Varvet or shipyard. Uh, yeah. Business. When yeah. was it created? Well, it's a long story. Uh, Harry well, Hanbe. Well, we, we will summarize. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many hours do we have? <laughs> Our, ten hours. I, I can tell you for ten hours, oh, no good. problem. But I make the short version. Yeah. Uh, it was a Swedish guy in 1943 oh, yeah. with the name Harry Halberg. He started a small business building wooden boats. Yeah. Just him and one colleague. And it grown larger and larger and larger. And uh, my father made the, the same thing. He grown up in Germany. He went to Sweden in 1961, started to build boats, started his own business. Yeah. So there was a Halberg boatyard and a Rassi boatyard until 1972. 72? Yeah. A merge. Yeah. Mr. Halbey wanted to retire ah. and my father needed a larger boat yard. So my father bought the yard from Mr. Halbey and because the name Halbey was much more well known, the name Halbey Rassi was created. It's and a, a it sounds like a, two colleagues who, who yeah. work together, two partners, but that's not the case. They have never worked together. Oh, okay. But uh, I think the name, a double name like Halberasi, is, is something good because if you have heard it once, you, you recognize it the next yeah. time you hear it. Of course. Yeah. And there are a lot of market leaders with a double name. Uh, Bang & Olufsen, Rolls-Royce, yeah, Harley yeah. Davidson. You can mention a long list of such names. Yeah. What's the DNA of an Albert Grassi sailboat? It's a well-built uh, cruising boat yeah. with a blue stripe, with a well-protected uh, cockpit, comfortable low water cruising, low water cruising yeah. easy to handle, yes. lots of comfort for a rather small crew. A, a very high construction standard. Yes. Yes. We will discover it yes. by uh, discovering the the H four four hundred behind uh, behind you. Uh, this is one of the two new models you showcase on uh, boat Düsseldorf 2023. Yes, correct. We present the new Halberasi 400 in front of us now, yeah. and we also have a new 50-footer, the Halberasi 50. So, which model does the 400 replace? Uh, it replaces minus? the 412. 412. Yeah. So 412 was a, a bit longer. Yeah, longer hull, but this boat has a longer water line and more okay. plumb, uh, plumb uh, stem and a more upright uh, stern and a wider stern and more space and more ah. performance. You optimize the volume inside yes. Yes. with a, a stronger and more powerful uh, bow, I be imagine. Yes. So, when we discover this model, we immediately recognize an Albert Grossi. Yes. What are the key elements in this design you didn't change on this mm. boat? <laughs> Blue stripe, yeah. green screen, yeah. uh, a special style that is unique to yeah. Alberassi, which is hard to put words on, but there is something special. You immediately see... Recognize. Yeah, you recognize Alberassi as a Alberassi on yeah. a distance, no matter if it's new or several decades old. You have two uh, versions, uh, two types of uh, sailboat uh, 
menus. You have aft cockpit sailboats like the Hatch yeah. or 400 yeah. and central cockpit sailboat like this uh, R44. Yeah, correct. So um, we will now go aboard yeah. the 400 to discover it and to make our viewer go aboard. Lucky viewers, they will be the first to go aboard this brand new model. <laughs> so um, it's an aft, uh, aft cockpit sailboat uh, Magnus. Yeah. Uh, indeed, when we compare this model with the 412, uh, yeah. wow, it's much, much more wide. Yes, it's a lot wider and more space and space yeah. for two, two steering wheels. The yeah. 412 had one steering yeah, it's wheel. A, it's a central. small revolution, like yes, uh, yes, Albert yes. two steering wheels. And yeah. twin rudders. Yeah. So you have rudders. All, always have good control when sailing, because yeah. even when healing, you always have at least one rudder down in the water and in full water. control. In terms of finishing, yeah. finishing we, we, we discover here a version with a tick yes. in the cockpit, in the cockpit. But not on the sideways. Yes, JRP with anti-slip. Yeah. And you can also have real teak, like on the 44 here on the show. Yeah. And you can have uh, PU teak, which is polyurethane, which we have here on the 340 on the show. It looks like a teak. It, it looks, looks like normal teak, but it isn't teak. It's artificial, it's polyurethane. Yeah. And it doesn't change in color. It looks the same day one as after eight years. You have, uh, you have uh, less job to clean it. Yes. Yeah, sure. Maybe it's less expensive. Uh, almost the same price. The same price. Yeah, almost. Okay. Uh, today, teak has got uh, quite a lot more expensive. So today, teak is more expensive than than PU teak. Yes. So, Manus, can you explain to our viewers how you decide to organize the layout of this cockpit? Yeah. You have two steering wheels, so yeah. you have a lot of space for. Uh, displays and buttons, yeah. and we have push button operation of everything. Yeah. Uh, push button operation uh, is typically uh, uh, Albert Grassi yes. uh, signature. Yes. Here on the starboard side, we have the engine controls. Yeah. You start the engine, have uh, throttle, you have bow thruster, stern thruster, uh, chain control, chain counter, autopilot, everything you need for that kind of motoring the boat and on the port Outside. side we have all the sail controls okay here you pull the sail in and out yeah you have the uh, head sail in and out yeah and you have primary winches port and starboard and you have a secondary winch for trimming like the bang uh, hell yards and, and things like that and uh, you have chosen a german organization yes for maneuver yeah and that means that the lines are hidden yeah. under the coach roof. Very nice. And uh, w when they Piano. come here, you have a bin here for all the excess ropes, so you get rid of that, so yeah, you have so a it's clean, clean and tidy clean. cockpit. Yes. A lot of storage? Yes. Under the bunks? Uh, you open here, and here you have a big wow. locker. Huge volume. Yeah. You have blue cruising sailboat, so you need to offer a lot of storage yeah. to your customers. Yes. Correct. In front of the two steering wheels, yeah. a life area. Yes. With the table. A fixed cockpit table, which you can fold up the leaves. Okay. Easily, just pull like this, and clack, you have a big, nice table. Wow. Nice finishing. Yes. High gloss varnish. Uh, how many uh, layers? <laughs> many. Place? 12, 13, Where? 14. Yeah. It's an epiphan? Uh, it's Maybe. a trade secret, we don't reveal that. Ah. But I can say so much, there are different varnishes in yeah. different layers of... Yes, the, really? Yes, yes. You mix the varnishes on the uh, same table? A different kind of varnish to start yeah. with and, and the end finish, okay. yes. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Dear viewers, look at that, it's quite look perfect. And the same finishing around the... The access to the, yes. the salon. The windscreen, as you said in as an introduction, windscreen is yes. a, 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 a second element of the DNA of the brand. Yes, certainly. Protection. And it gives very good uh, shelter here in the cockpit. 
and it's tempered glass, so yeah. it doesn't it's, scratch with yeah. time. You it's have glass. handholds at the side. You have an opening center part for oh, ventilation. Very good for ventilation. Yeah. You have a spray hood that you can fold down or fold up for yeah. even better for protection. protection. Yeah. And here you have some uh, ventilation to, uh, yeah, to aft the aft cabins. cabin. So now, dear viewers, you will dream by discovering the interior. Because an Albert Rasu sailboat, wow, in terms of internal, uh, interior layout, it's quite, yes. A, yes. it's quite a beautiful boat. So, a global view about this, uh, this salon. Yeah. How did you organize uh, this uh, salon? Uh, it's quite a flexible yeah. interior layout. Yeah. In this boat, we have two sofas, an L-shaped sofa to port yeah. and a straight settee on starboard. Yeah. You can also get two armchairs instead of a settee ah, on the, the starboard side. The famous Alba yes. Grassi yes. armchairs. Yes. And, uh, galley? You, yeah, you always have a big, nice galley. And you can choose one or two aft cabins. <laughs> one or two? Yeah. In that case, you have a workspace in the replacement of the second No, you have, a, you have a locker here, but a smaller locker in the cockpit. And you have a double berth uh, in the transom, in the aft end of the boat. And you still have a toilet. And you can choose one or two toilets in the boat. OK, so we will uh, go inside. <coughs> Impressive finishing. Yeah. What is really surprising, uh, Magnus? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Oh, it's good with this mic technology. We can be uh, separated, but we listen yeah. us very good. What is really um, impressive in your your uh, Magnus is the fact that when you uh, you construct the interior of the boat, the deck is it's always yes, yes. glued. It's not glued, it's laminated together. Laminated, we start to sorry. laminate together hull and deck, and we have the structural uh, bulkheads in place. You know Everything else comes in through the normal opening of the boat. And but that you, means yeah, you, you know why it's absolutely not productive. Uh, it is. It is. Huh? Why? Because only that way we can access to laminate the hull and the deck. And when the hull and the deck is laminated together, it's torsionally stiff, yeah. the, the boat doesn't move, and it's absolutely dry, it cannot leak, it's impossible. Ah, yeah. And in that way, we have already this from the start designed the opening of the boat, so we get all the tanks in, motor, generator, everything, through and the door. Yes. And that means that it goes out the same way it came in. Yeah. So the day it is time for service, you can get the parts out again without cutting yeah, a big hole in uh, the boat. But you know, Manus, you are um, one of the rare shipyards I've uh, visited, and I know, yeah. that construct sailboats like that. Yes. Because all the yards construct interior without the deck, and at yeah. the end, yeah. they, uh, they glue the deck specificity of the yard. Dear friends, look at this finishing. Wow. It's a long time, I believe. Yeah. How, how do you do uh, such corners? Uh, you because have your it's own so wide. Work fa uh, wood factory? Yes. We, because it's so wide, if you would take one piece of, of wood and try to bend it, it would crack immediately. Yeah. Yes. So what we do is we take many thin veneers, yeah. each veneer one and a half millimeter thick. And we have a mold where we press it together with glue in between. And in that way, we create a lining that has any shape. And it looks like it's grown this way, but of course it, it, it isn't. It's the individual veneers that are bent okay. in a mold. Beautiful. And in that way, we get a good fiddle, nothing will move and fall down fall to down. the sole and, you can and uh, it's a good handhold as well yeah one important thing about aboard an alba grassi is a chart table yeah for you chart table is always a necessity i wouldn't say so i think no? it's good to have a work table i prefer to call ah, it a work, work table, table and not a chart table because you don't navigate with a paper chart here. No, sure. you have a, a desktop, a laptop, yeah. uh, so you can 
look for the weather forecast, uh, read your emails, send emails, look at photos and so on. Okay. It's more like a work table today, but it's very nice to have. Look at this finishing, your friends, it's <laughs> really solid. Yeah. So, uh, w what is the layout of this model? Uh, <laughs> this uh, model that we are on now is one aft cabin and okay. an extra large aft heads with wow. a separate shower with a plexiglass door and a wet locker and good ventilation to all the sides. Yeah. Really practical, right? Yes. It's a good choice to yeah. have a, a, a wide uh, yeah. head. Yes. And so you have a half cabin yeah. on port side. With a detail, look at these details. Very impressive. Big storage. And so, and the owner's cabin. How does it look like? Here we have the owner's cabin in front. And there are different wow. layouts. In this boat, it is a centerline island boat, yeah. which is wide and comfortable. Wow, it's a revolution. <laughs> there are some. And the hull port lights L for. L yeah. L yeah. Windows yeah. Yeah. in the forward cabin yeah. of uh, yeah. Alban Grasse. Yeah. Oh. Ah, we had that already uh, three years ago <laughs> on yes, the 40 but, uh, It's yeah. a quite a revolution. Yes, it's a nice uh, yeah. thing. Yeah, because you when, you, when yeah. you are on the bed, you, you can yeah. look at the sea. You see what hap what's happening outside. You have contact with the world outside in a completely different way. Yeah. And easy to close here. If you want to dock and or new visibility into the boat, it's also possible. Storage behind you? Yes. Lots of storage. Here you have one locker with shelves. Yeah. And here you have a hanging locker with a automatic real light. A real yeah. one, very deep. And if you look at the veneers, it's the same piece of veneer. So the grain is matching the whole way through in the whole boat. Wow, and the hinges are invisible and with a built-in end stopper so you don't hit uh, the rest of the boat and good ventilation as well here always practical inside such a storage and here on that uh, second head with a shower with acrylic glass doors and good ventilation wow so when uh, was this model launched officially launched uh, well, Venus. for an indoor boat show, it's premier here at Port Düsseldorf. Yeah. As um, uh, in water boat show, we actually showed it at our own boat show, open boat yard, in Farvet. August uh, 2021. Open during Warf, yes, uh, uh, during the pandemic. August. Yeah. yeah. How many uh, units sold? Around. Uh, we have. We have a good order book, and in production now we have hull number. Uh, f 38, I think. 38? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's quite good. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a good success. An <laughs> idea of the price? Yes. In of Euro course, one. it's depending on how much uh, equipment you take. Of course. And if you count uh, including VAT or yeah. excluding VAT. But if we, if we talk about uh, ah, including VAT, yeah. uh, for a sail away boat, we are looking at... Uh, Around about 544,000 euros. What is the uh, delivery uh, delay uh, on such a boat? Around uh, about one and a half years. One and a half years. Well, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah, you have a good uh, capacity. Yes, and you get a fixed price when you order the boat. Yeah. And you get a fixed delivery day. And you we have, have a fixed price. Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, you have a, a fixed, fixed price. price you, uh, you, you if you say the boat costs for 544,000, yeah. it is 544,000. And I, I am we delivered with such a price? Yes. No. We don't, we don't increase the price. We give a fixed price. Although we know we will have a lot of price increases on the components we buy to, to build the boat. No bad surprise at all. No. no. And uh, we give a fixed delivery date. And we yeah. have never, ever in history missed a delivery date. We have always been on time <coughs> on delivery. Last but not least, it's all built in Sweden. It's built in Sweden, yes. It's built in, uh, in Orest Island, northern of Gothenburg. Yeah. 
That's right. Why should um, a, a sailor discover your brand, uh, Magnus? As because a it's a very nice boat. It's a, a comfortable boat for blue water sailing yeah. or local sailing, uh, as you like. Uh, it's a boat that is a joy to sail. It's, it's so nice sailing boat. It has a big, nice cockpit. It has a very comfortable interior, a flexible interior. If you want two or three cabins, if you want one or two heads, if you want a uh, traditional darker mahogany for the interior, or a bright European oak interior. So we we'll just have to go to Oris Thailand and uh, to have a meeting with you to make us uh, discover as a models and to sign the the bill. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Magnus. You're most welcome.